Welcome everybody to Thorpe Park here outside of London, England. We have a very exciting video for you guys. You We're see, gonna do something really cool. See that construction fence right there? That's for Project Exodus. It's getting built on the other side. Well, kind of. But it's a lot of dirt, but we're gonna go and show you guys that dirt because soon there's gonna be a mock hyper coaster there. It's mock hyper coaster dirt, guys. Yeah, like it's a big deal. It's a big deal. This park hasn't gotten a new roller coaster in like 10 years or something like that. Well, I'm gonna be the biggest roller coaster in the UK. Yeah, so this is this is gonna be huge. So let's show you guys the site for Project Exodus. So here you can see a site overview of Project Exodus. So we came in here right by the Burger King. So the queue and plaza is gonna bump up right up against it and then it's gonna drop you off over here by Samurai. And this right here is the lake, so you can imagine then right over here, that's where the big turn is gonna be. It'll be break run and then station area as well as the queue is pretty much where we're standing. I'm excited because like there's like a nice little plaza here so you can probably get nice shots of the ride. No. Excited for that. And it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be massive. We're gonna be staring up straight at the sky What's over 200 that? feet in the air. Okay, it's like over like 230. I think. It, it's the UK's tallest roller coaster. So in this plot of land used to be a log flume called Logger's Leap. It sat SBNO for many years, so actually I did not even get to do the ride when I was here in 2018. There also was a haunt maze, and so all that has been cleared away. They have also filled in this lake, so you can see it's just been drastically reduced. And then when construction is finished, they'll bring it all back, but they need it filled in order to put in all the footers. So you can see that right now, there's really not any footers in place, but I imagine over the next couple months, especially, that will change. So right over here where this orange crane is, is where the station will be. Okay, so if you've been to this park, you already know like all the colors that they use for everything are very muted. So for this one, it's all gonna be gold from about here down, but the top here would be noticeable from outside the park. So it's gonna like ombre up to being white at the top. That's so cool. So it like fits in with like the rules around here. That's gonna look great. I think it's really pretty, honestly. I like the ombre style on hair, on coasters, like it's all <laughs> look all the way back there you can see a little tiny statue of an angel which was a part of the log flume from back here but everything else has been removed yet they've left that which is why I am led to believe that it is potentially like a tease to the theming. We'll have to wait and see. All right, so we got Jack Silkstone here. Some Hello. of you guys might be familiar with his channel. He's a Thorpe Park local. That's so, it, that's okay, it. Okay, so you're obviously very familiar with this project. Yeah. What would you say you're most looking forward to about it? Oh, I mean, just the fact that it's even being built is so exciting. We haven't had a coaster here at Thorpe Park for over 10 years now. Ooh. The Swarm was the last ride to, to come here. So yeah. Just the fact that we have this ride and the fact that it is the UK's tallest is so, so exciting. So just the whole project, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, is it, it's gotta be like pretty cool. Like you, I'm guessing, did Logger's Leap. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so do you feel like this was a pretty good area that they picked for this attraction I mean, and everything? It's a very, very historic part of the park. So obviously you had like, the, literally the royal family have been on this log flume that used to be here. What? You had Princess Diana. Wait, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. I watched the Meghan and Harry yeah. documentary. Is that the so log flume? this is the log flume that they were on. Remember, I told you about that. You did mention that. It wow. was a, oh, it was a super guy. sad day, like seeing it being taken down, but. The fact that they are taking it down for this massive ride is so exciting because it's been closed for so long. So it's a nice area of the park. It's so big considering this whole area used to be trees and there was a big lake in the middle. Seeing it completely open now is so exciting. Is there a specific moment of the ride? Do you, you know, think something think that like you're like, wow. The kind of overbank turn right down the other end of the site where you kind of roll on that other side, that I think is going to be the highlight for me. That's going to be cool. With lap bars, oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Thank you. I'm oh yeah, I'm stoked for this next year. That's been so, so good. good. You guys are stoked today. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> This is 
awesome. You know, it's not a whole lot right now, but just knowing what's on the way is so cool. I know, like, I'm like trying to envision everything. And, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited because, you know, we just got to do DC Rivals not that long ago. So mm -hmm. we got like a taste of, you know, what to expect. With a mock is, hyper. Yeah, this is a bit smaller, but one of our biggest, like, things that we didn't love about DC Rivals is that there was a, a very, like, dead section in the middle. Yeah. This is a bit shorter, maybe a bit more punchy, so maybe it might even be better. I don't know. I know, I know. Not always about size, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, this, every element on this thing is gonna hit, it's gonna be uh, super compact and thrilling. Uh, UK's tallest roller coaster. I am, so cool. I'm stoked. I know we're already, like, making tentative plans to come back here to do it. Oh, heck like, yeah. I know, everyone's like, you guys are gonna miss it. We're like, no, we're like, not. Oh, we'll come back. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back. back. It's like 20 minutes from Heathrow. It's not a big deal. Yeah. yeah. So, no, this is this is just so cool to see. Huge thanks to the folks at Thor Park for giving us this opportunity. I uh, get to see the site, and uh, I can't wait to see all the photos coming soon of the track shooting up, all the supports going in place. I had to show off the back of this. I know. Cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Project Exodus, new for next year at Thor Park. Come out here and experience it. If you're coming within the next couple months, uh, be sure to send us some photos that you take of the, the track going up and everything. Like, uh, I'm going to be watching the progress of this. Heck yeah. So, thank you all so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.